Welcome to the IHSA's Football Focus. I'm Sam Knox, an Assistant Executive Director and the Football Administrator at the IHSA. Our primary goal is to educate coaches, players, and officials about the rules that govern the high school game. We will use rulebook language and videos to teach viewers about the game, but we won't ever embarrass teams, players, coaches, or officials. Sometimes showing a video with penalties or mistakes allows all of us to learn and improve for the future. Now that I've explained what Football Focus is all about, let's get started. Today's topic is holding. Holding is one of the most common fouls in all levels of football. Rule 921 says, an offensive player, except the runner, shall not use a blocking technique which is not permissible by rule, grasp or encircle any teammate to form interlock blocking, or use his hands, arms, or legs to hook, lock, clamp, grasp, encircle, or hold in an effort to restrain an opponent. Rule 923 covers similar restrictions for defensive players. The penalty for holding is 10 yards. The enforcement spot varies depending on the play. A rule change in 2023 now says, if the offense commits a holding foul behind the line of scrimmage, the penalty will be enforced from the previous spot, not the spot of the foul. Our first few plays focus on the holding fouls we see most frequently, holding by offensive linemen. Officials must call holding fouls when they clearly have an effect on the play. Watch the left tackle. His actions certainly affect this play. He grabs the defensive end and restricts him from pursuing the ball carrier. Since the foul happened behind the line of scrimmage, it's a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. The center commits a holding foul on this play. He grabs, restricts, and eventually takes the defensive lineman to the ground. Nice call by the referee to have a flag on this play. It's a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. The next play will be 1st and 20 at the 25-yard line. Here, the left tackle clearly holds the defensive end and then lays on top of him. The offensive tackle's actions have a direct effect on the play. The referee does a nice job keeping his attention on the blockers to catch this holding foul. Since the play started at the 16-yard line, the penalty is half the distance to the goal line. Let's look at three views of a block by the left tackle. Number 74 pulls and leads the ball carrier downfield. His block is visible for everyone to see. Just because there's a size difference and a player is blocked to the ground, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a foul. Number 74 is very athletic and is in great position to complete this legal block. Offensive line coaches love when their linemen use perfect technique to complete a legal block that takes the opponent to the ground. Right tackle number 63 uses textbook form to help number 17 run for a touchdown. Holding doesn't always happen at the line of scrimmage with offensive linemen. The team in orange seems to score a 69-yard touchdown, but number 16 grabs and restricts number 17 in white at the 45-yard line. Although the blocker doesn't take his opponent to the ground, it's still a holding foul. Great call by the officials. They saw that number 16's hold directly affected the play. Since this foul happened beyond the line of scrimmage 
and the run ended beyond the spot of the foul, the 10-yard penalty is assessed from the spot of the foul. Thanks to our friends at the Minnesota State High School League for sharing this video. On this running play, number nine's block might not look significant at first. The second view shows that number nine clearly holds and restricts number 27, which prevents him from attempting to tackle the runner. Nice call by the officials. Since the run ended beyond the line of scrimmage and beyond the spot of the foul, the 10-yard penalty is enforced from the spot of the foul. Our final play shows an example of defensive holding. Number 15 in white clearly tackles number 23 in brown, which prevents him from continuing his pass route. Excellent call by the line judge to see this holding foul. It's a 10-yard penalty against the defense. Our number one objective with Football Focus is to help coaches, players, and officials understand the rules of the high school game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the IHSA's Football Focus.